Rentney's Ghanaian gospel artist and songwriter Kwesi Oting wants the Ghana music rights organization GAMU to improve its tracking system to boost royalties collection for media outlets. He spoke to Naftali Ba. Yeah, yeah, you call him The debate on churches paying for the use of intellectual property of gospel musicians is far from over, as some gospel musicians have kicked against the decision. Um, personally, going to churches to go and mark the songs they sing, I mean, if broadcast money, it has done nothing to me. I don't see how chasing churches for them singing my songs or anybody's songs is going to do anything. I think A week ago, administrator of music rights organization Gamro. Ibrahim Ajiti announced the decision, which has been received with mixed reactions from industry players. Broadcasts, radio and TV have been of no benefit to me. If that has not been, it will be of no interest. The church has not done in them anything. The, the, the work has more been used in radio stations day after day. You know, and there has been no remuneration that has come from there. So cool. Award-winning gospel artist and songwriter Kwesi Otin wants Gamro to improve its tracking system to boost royalty collection from media outlets. No, I will, whatever I say may not be able to stop them from going, but that I support that venture. I think that their strength can be used for something better. In that radio and TV has played much of our, our works, and so where is the proof or where is the show? I mean, let, let us begin to see some of these things. But they can track the songs or the videos that have been played by these stations. Most people have not received anything, you understand, for, for these things. And um, I think that if any justice is required, um, justice can be brought from these uh, avenues.